what's up guys? It's like 7.30 in the morning and our goal is to climb all the way up to 11,000 feet and make it to the top of that right there. Let's do it. This is bench number one. Maybe a fourth, a third of the way up. You can see the main mountains right there, although it's very bright, it is right there. Wow, this is cool. Look at that little valley right there. I don't even know what that is. So right now we are at about 7,000 to 8,000 feet. I could tell because that mountain over there, Eagle Mountain, that's 7,500 or so at the top. We're about there. That's pretty wicked, dude. Check out this view, guys. Holy cow. Man, this is beautiful. We're getting close. It's definitely cold up here, boys. About to crest the top. See over the backside. This is what freaking paramotors are for, man. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, look at that. We going all the way up. No top landing up here. Well guys, we made it to 11,000 feet. Holy crap. We are way the snot up here. Wow, wow, wow. I don't even know what to say. Nature, you've done it again. Holy cow. This is amazing. We are literally on top of the world right now. Holy cow. 11,000 foot peak. We're just hanging out. This right here is Provo Canyon. And uh, we got Kenna Copper Mine all the way over there. You can see that. Salt Lake City is on the other side of Lone Peak, which is right there. It's just on the other side. If it wasn't so smoky from all the California and Oregon fires, uh, we could see a little bit better. But my goodness, this is amazing. Let's drop her down to the deck, eh? Woo! Throw down some wing overs at 11,000 feet, boys. Oh, yeah. Woo! That is a sheer cliff, man. I would not want to have to land up here. There's Jordan. Yeah! Look at him go, boys. We're way up here. We made it. I want to go over to Provo Canyon. The top of Timpanogos. I think I'm ridge soaring right now. Yep, there's wind. We're a ridge sore at the top of Tippinogas. Woo! Holy cow, there is no there is no high like the natural high flying gives you, man. Holy cow, guys, it's perfectly smooth. Like sometimes you come up here and it's uh, you're fighting for it. Jordan and I, we're just soaring. We're just ridge sore at Tippinogas. What the heck is life? This is an experience that uh, you just can't have with anything else. I'm not even using my motor. I'm just gliding. I'm gliding, boys. I'm gliding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, this is amazing.
Now the fun part. Try to break through the ridge lift. Only way to do it is just fly straight. We are back to our field. Uh, that was a pretty sweet flight. Flew all the way to the top of the tip and back. We didn't even burn a half of a tank. We were just under half a tank based off Jordan's gas tank. Looking over at Jordan's gas tank. Uh, which is pretty freaking good. Uh, I mean, I don't know how long we were up flying. Maybe an hour. Are we going downwind right now? Or is there just like absolutely no wind? I think there's literally no wind. Holy cow. Oh no. <laughs> Downwind. Okay, that makes sense. Well guys, that was an awesome flight. Amazing, that was a beautiful flight. Tippinogus is like 11,000, I'll put it right here, thousand feet. So we went way the freak up there. Got the flat top 200Rs here, two flat top 200Rs. I was on an extra, extra small. Jordan was on a 4XS. If you wanna learn more about this paramotor equipment or how you can learn how to fly, go to flyflattop.com and we'll see you in the next video.